Hi Virgo, welcome to the most important month of the year. I've been speaking about this for months. Welcome to the month of eclipses. Welcome to October 2023 astrology horoscope forecast. This is a time or eclipses are the time of powerful changes. Let's check the mic. Yes, it is on. Eclipses are a time of powerful changes, opportunities, endings, beginnings and a time to grow, evolve and be brave. Also the eclipse energy lasts for approximately six months so this is not going anywhere soon. This month we have uh, very Venusian eclipses. We have both the eclipses that are happening in Libra and they're happening in Taurus. So it's all about maintaining harmony. It's about um, me vis-a-vis -vis we, it's about uh, checking our finances, uh, it's also why we take care of our own needs. Um, we also take into consideration other people's feelings and for you Virgos uh, that should not be a problem because it's quite the opposite. You are usually more concerned about other people's feelings and you tend to not uh, take care of your own self, your own emotional self, in fact. So the annual solar eclipse is happening in Libra. It's set on the 14th of October. And uh, this is a time wherein that uh, the focus is going to be on self-improvement, self-confidence, release of people-pleasing tendencies, acceptance of chaos as a catalyst, and raising your relationship standards. And Libra has a tendency to prioritize harmony over anything else. So it's also a good time to be letting go of what no longer serves us within our relationships. And also it's quite all right to be with a void space uh, which may exist because of a certain relationship or a certain person who is simply there because we are scared of or we are fearful of being alone. The lunar eclipse is going to be in Taurus and uh, it is going to be asking us to align with what we know and want in order to be building a more solid foundation. And uh, this is also a time that we should be looking at our debts, our loans uh, and our investments. Good time to be also looking at the kind of people that we invest our energy into. Now, with the uh, both the eclipses, we will be experiencing some global uh, movements, events as well. There could be some drastic uh, weather changes. There could be some economic shifts as well. But this is also a month where a lot can be achieved. Let me break down the month for you. On the 5th, we have Mercury that is moving into Libra. It is joining Sun and Mars in your house of self-worth. And this is also the house of money. It is your earned income. And uh, this is all about your resources and how resourceful can you be. But also keeping your spending check, uh, spending in check could be a challenge for you. And uh, for some of you, a retail therapy may be necessary if you feel that, you know, you really deserve it and you've been really working hard. And uh, however, uh, keep your new possessions understated as they could, you know, bring about some sense of jealousy or some amount of judgment from others. And uh, also, this is a time, you know, where uh, you need to be reminding yourself that acquiring a lot of... Uh, um, a lot of material possessions is not going to be replacing it as to how it is that you're feeling. So if you're trying to compensate for feeling, uh, you know, a sense of loss or uh, whether it's been a broken uh, relationship or there's been a sense of betrayal, then no amount of retail therapy is going to be curing that. A uh, good time also to be asserting your confidence and uh, not to get in, uh, intimidated by other people's opinions. On the ninth, we have Venus that is there in your own sign, uh, Virgos. And um, it's a lovely time, good time to be again looking at your uh, life path. This is not just about, uh, you know, sprucing up your uh, self-image physically, though you may do that as well. Uh, good time to be changing your wardrobe, good time to be... Um, you know, maybe doing a complete makeover if you have been slightly fed up with your uh, uh, appearance. 
but importantly it's a good time to be taking care of yourself emotionally good time to be nurturing yourself and um, you are going to be feeling quite um, nice with venus being over there there is going to be a sense of confidence about um, you know, you could be attracting people who are uh, quite, you know, attracted by your charm or taken in by you. Uh, but good time as well to be healing your inner child. On the 13th, we have Mars that moves into your house of communication, your community. Uh, so this is a time and also it's a house of siblings. You may find that, you know, there is uh, some amount of... Uh, chaos or maybe uh, too many activities that are happening uh, socially in your community maybe you are leading them maybe you're organizing them uh, try and not get too much on your plate Virgos try and see as to what is it that you can manage and what is it that you can handle now the second biggie on the 14th we have a lunar eclipse that is there in your house of uh, earned income and your house of self-worth and this is also the area in astrology that highlights our resources our values and uh, whatever it is that we need to sustain ourselves and our life so new moon over here it's going to be uh, you know initiating themes around uh, uh, money it's going to be talking about family and assets and this is also a time where uh, you know it's a good time to be setting intentions as far as finances are concerned maybe it's a time that you uh, set a budget and you stick to it also because uh, uh, you know it's a new moon that something is being uh, created right now oh i can hear the peacocks it's so lovely this is a time that uh, you know you could uh, find a better financially uh, paying job and uh, this is also a time where uh, you know you need to be uh, applying for better roles you need to be applying for uh, jobs that pay you better money and uh, also this is a time to be taking care of yourself physically uh, what is it that you know your body requires are you resting enough are you eating right um, you know the kind of food that you're consuming so the questions that you need to be thinking about during this um, new moon is that what is it that you are in need of and how it is that you can get it uh, also do you ask for help when you need it or you know you are sort of just uh, keeping the stiff upper lip and just sort of bearing all the work or all the grunt work on your own and also you need to be asking yourself that why are you wasting your time and energy on things that do not provide any value to you and also are you living by your values Virgos? now this is a time where uh, you know new moon is going to be providing you solutions and uh, you will have to uh, you know meet the universe halfway Virgos. it's good to i think it's it's lovely to um, manifest it's lovely to set intentions but if we do not walk that path you know if we carry on doing work which does not pay us it may uh, you know and you may be needing more money you may be you know your finances may need a sort of a boost but if you carry on doing the same old thing without taking a risk without uh, changing uh, bringing about a change then you know the intentions are really uh, there's not much movement that's going to be happening so the new moon over here it's going to be initiating matters connected to your self-worth and your uh, uh, you know what is it that your spirit currently needs or desires to have in life so a uh, good time to be establishing physical security and to be utilizing your practical uh, abilities how you can use this uh, the new moon energy over here is that uh, you know what is it that you you need to be asking yourself or what is it that you seek more out of uh, in your life and what steps can you take in order to make that happen so you know are you applying at the right places are you reaching out to the right uh, people and also are you you know cutting or letting go of work which does not pay you uh, it may be giving you some comfort or there could be a uh, you know a habitual thing that you're used to going to a certain place but it may be taking away all your time and all your energy and it would not be paying you for the 
uh, kind of money that you deserve and also it's a good time to be um, you know not shying away from getting and deserving I think uh, some way you have sort of uh, you know convinced yourself that this is what you deserve and this is what you get and this is as good as it gets so you are literally being asked by the universe by this new moon to be pushing beyond your boundaries on the 23rd we have sun and mercury that again move into your house of communication and sibling so um, you will again find yourself you know being quite caught up with the community activities maybe there's a lot of communication that you're managing maybe there's a lot of to and fro maybe you're getting people together for conferences for group activities uh, maybe you know you are pretty much the person who is running the show and again coming back to do you have the energy for this Virgos and is it really worth it we are uh, closing the month with another biggie on the 28th we have a lunar eclipse that is there in your house of uh, spirituality your belief long distance travel philosophy education big vision life experiences pilgrimages and uh, it also speaks about uh, teachers and gurus that come into our life to expand our mind um, now um, we already have Uranus in this house which has been there for the last few years and I think it's going to carry on being there for the next uh, eight to nine years as well and uh, so Uranus of course is a wild boy of astrology it brings a lot of chaos so you will find that your um, uh, you know your your uh, ideas around religion your ideas around spirituality uh, all of that gets challenged and it gets changed during this time that uh, Uranus transits uh, of course we're talking about a lunar eclipse right now so lunar eclipse over here it's going to be um, first of all it's a very emotional time because something comes to of fruition during this time something is brought to light for you that you may not have been aware about let me very quickly check my mic uh, a little late in life but yes it is on so something may be brought to light for you something that you were not aware about certain details and uh, this is also a time uh, you know where uh, things that you couldn't see earlier and especially as far as your life direction is concerned and the uh, uh, value of the work that you're doing right now uh, that is bringing to you maybe you'll have more clarity during this time but what is it that you really need to be doing and uh, you could feel there could be a slight sense of uncertainty about the direction that your life is taking into right now and wondering if it's going to pay off you know once where you reach the end of the goal that you had thought you wanted to do and uh, during this full moon also you are going to get a glimpse uh, of your future what is being offered to you and uh, how to align so that you can get the maximum success out of it uh, this house it governs our ambitions in lives our beliefs our experiences and future and it's a it's an extremely uh, spiritual area and uh, with the full moon uh, when it happens over here it uh, you know it's as if that a path a uh, uh, sort of a light is uh, lit for you in that direction you know things become more clearer your path's direction becomes more clearer so you can course correct you know if you have been sort of if you have digressed or if you or if people have sort of convinced you that you know uh, oh it, it's very nice to be charitable and give up everything and work for low paying jobs maybe this is a time where there will be that aha moment that you know um, you need to be earning more money so that you know maybe you can sustain a charity or maybe you can give more but in order for you to be giving more you need to be having more so the best way to be using the full moon energy in this house is to be um, uh, you know try and create sort of milestones for yourselves for the goals maybe it's a good time to be recheck your goals it's a good time to be um, again asking whether these are the goals that are uh, you know that you want to achieve what are your aspirations right now and also it's a good time to be uh, reaching out or seeking a mentor or a teacher or a guru or even an expert who can help you you know achieve your goals or help you set your goals and um, also in uh, other ways full moon is going to be encouraging you to embark on a long journey maybe some of you you will travel overseas 
and uh, also it could you know unleash a dream for you uh, this is uh, a time a very important time for you Virgos wherein that you're going to be uh, aligning your highest mission to life with what it is that you really want from your core so be brave let the eclipse work as a catalyst so that you can you know um, let go of other people's ideas prejudices their goals their intentions it may be that someone close to you wants that but you know to start off with uh, not that you minded it but you maybe didn't buy into it too much it's a good time to be doing that course correction it's been a pleasure speaking with you workers i'll see you again soon and thank you so much for watching